The abortion drug Mifepristone, used in nearly two-thirds of all U.S. abortions last year, will stay available to patients up to 10 weeks pregnant without having an in-person doctor visit. The nine justices were unanimous, finding the abortion opponents who brought the case lacked the legal standing to sue the FDA. It doesn't have anything to do with whether or not abortion is a protected liberty under the Constitution. It has everything to do with these doctors, this medical group, whether or not they could walk into the courthouse doors and say, I was injured enough to be able to move forward with my suit. President Biden in Italy for the G7 summit praised the decision, but signaled abortion access will be a top issue in November, saying in a statement, it does not change the fact that the right for a woman to get the treatment she needs is imperiled, if not impossible, in many states. Today's ruling allows mail order pharmacies to continue shipping Mifepristone nationwide. But just last month, Louisiana designated the drug a dangerous controlled substance. 14 states are enforcing bans on all stages of abortion, making access to Mifepristone difficult. The data are very, very clear that Mifepristone is extremely safe, extremely effective. Over 100 peer reviewed uh, journal publications have shown this over and over again. Anti abortion activists were outside the Supreme Court Thursday, vowing to fight on. You know, they're not saying that abortion pills are safe, they just said the case didn't have standing. So we'll be back with another case with better standing next time. Three states, Idaho, Kansas, and Missouri, are working to return the issue to the courts with plaintiffs directly impacted. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the Supreme Court.